Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and staying safe out there. Today I thought I would start a new series on my channel. I'm going to be working my way through all of the star signs and creating a makeup look inspired by each star sign. But today we're going to start with the star sign Aries and create a look inspired by the key characteristics of the Aries star sign. So if you want to see the makeup look that I create and how I do it, then just keep on watching. So I decided I would do my full face off of camera because it's the same base every time, just a simple basic look. So now it's on to the eyes because this is going to be like the most important part of this look. So I'm going to zoom you guys in. And today I'm going to be using the Morphe X James Charles palette just because it does have some really nice deep reds and oranges and yellows. So that is what we're going to be using today. So what we're going to do is we are going to take this red shade here, this one, and this is going to be the base of our fire eyes because Aries is one of the fire star signs and I'm just going to pack this on quite messily and don't worry if you get any like fallout or anything like that because it's going to be quite a messy and blown out kind of look. I never do anything too out there so this is going to be a very weird look for me. Erratic. So I'm not going to do these eyes completely identical because fire is quite erratic, like no two flames are exactly the same and that's what I want to portray in this eye look. They're going to be similar, like similar shapes and similar to what they do but because, like I say, fire does not react the same every single time you use it, therefore these eyes are not going to be completely identical. So I'm going to read out the characteristics of Aries. So Aries is passionate, motivated and confident leader who builds community with their cheerful disposition and relentless determination uncomplicated and direct in their approach they often get frustrated by exhaustive details and unnecessary nuisances now i'm not an aries by any means like none of these characteristics are me so an aries what dates the aries so aries oh this is saying it's this is saying it's march 20th to april 19th because i know they did change it a couple of weeks ago to um different dates which was very weird so this is saying that i'm an aries now um i was a pisces before but this is saying that the 20th of march to the 19th of april is now aries and not and the 20th of march isn't pisces anymore which is very weird i did not expect that i thought i was still a pisces you learn something new every day so what i'm doing with this red is i'm just sort of laying it down how I want it to look and then I'm using a clean fluffy brush and just buffing out those edges and making it look more erratic and then you just want to ensure you've got that high pigmentation on your eye. The issue with red is it can go pink very very quickly. Maybe I need to act more Aries now then. Be motivated. So the next colour we're going to take is this bright orange up here and this is going to go next to that red and we're going to pack this on as well. And then I'm also taking it under my eyes into those sort of more erratic parts. It's all about blending. To make a fiery kind of look, you just have to blend and create different depths and dimensions with the colours that you're using. The final colour we're going to take is this yellow shade down here. And again, really pack that on. 
and this is just going to go in the inner corner and then I'm just going to go back over with the orange because I feel like the orange is disappearing into the red Okay, I'm scrapping this look. It looks awful. So, which happens? We're going to keep the idea there and we're just going to switch it up. It just hasn't worked how I wanted it to, which is absolutely fine. We're just going to deal with it. So, I'm going to actually cut my crease, but in a fiery kind of shape to try and save this look. So with this outline now on, like I say, it does not need to be symmetrical. It doesn't need to be neat. I'm going to take a small brush and that red shade and I'm just going to go around the outline of this cut crease and just really intensify that. And this is kind of like doubly cutting the crease because you're really showing that shape. So I'm going to work on one eye first before I go on to the other eye. So this is how it's looking. And it's all about getting the shape that you really desire. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the orange shade just around the edge on that same pointy brush because I don't have a different one, which is very annoying. And that's just going to be tapped around the inside of this line. And then I'm just going to go and put the yellow on the inside portion. Okay, that's looking a hundred times better than that. It just wasn't working for me. And that's absolutely fine. And this series is all about me kind of experimenting with my makeup again because I haven't done anything like this in quite a while. So that's that's what the ser this series is going to be about. So I'm going to quickly go off camera and just complete this eye and then I'll be back to finish the rest of this look. Okay, so I've done my other eye. Like I said, I didn't want them to be completely symmetrical because they are flames. So now I'm going to do the Aries sign on my forehead. So I'm going to zoom you guys out a bit. So I'm going to do it with eyeliner just because I just think it's an easy way of getting this look that you want. So I'm just going to line this up. I'm going to do a line like that. And like that. This is the one that I want to be in the middle of my face. Okay, so we've got that bit on. So now I'm gonna go and draw a line straight. Oh, wow, that was a big shake. Whoa. Eyeliner's running out, which is not the greatest start. And then I'm just going to do... And I thought on this cheek, I would actually do the star constellations as well. But that is what that bit looks like i actually really like how this has turned out so the aries constellation is a dot I think that looks so cool. So that is the Aries star sign constellation. 
I'm just going to quickly go off camera and do my lips and then I'll be back to show you the full look all together. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I paired it with a really dark red lip to show like motivation and just to show that I don't really care. That's the kind of look I thought I'd go for because that is an Aries characteristic. But this is what it's looking like with the fiery eyes, the star constellation and the Aries, I don't know what it's called, star sign? I think it's called a star sign. But I actually really like how this turned out. I know at the beginning it did not look good, like at all so i'm really impressed that it actually looks really really nice so this is the first of my 12 week series of doing a look inspired by the different star signs so this is the first one which is aries i'm hoping as i progress the looks will get better and better for you guys but i actually really like how this one turned out today with the fiery eyes the star constellation and the airy sign on my forehead i do really really like it so i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video if you have don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below comment below any other videos you want to see me do and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my upcoming videos and don't miss my star sign inspired makeup looks over the next 11 weeks but i hope you guys are all safe and well and i will see you in my next video Bye guys.